Welcome back to Falling Fox Gaming, everybody. I am your host, Blaine, and today we're we'll playing some more Starbound Bracken Universe. Now, when we left off, we had just finished building our second colony for the Glitch People. And we're not going to run back and talk to King Mechus about it right away because we want to actually explore this planet's surface a little bit more and try and do a full loop before heading back and talking to King Mechus, just in case there's something on this planet we want to talk to him about. And before we do that, I actually want to head back to our space station and take a look at our crafting stations because I think we need to focus on up upgrading them sometime soon and I think before we do a little bit of exploring it'd be a good idea to check them out and see if there's anything we could prepare for ahead of time. Okay so back on our space station we are looking at our crafting stations and you can just tell by looking at them that they're all very out of date. These are all pretty much the intro ones that we get from the very beginning and we need to craft some higher tech gear to be able to advance it all. The primary thing that we need is environmental protection suit thingamajiggers which is like the backpack things and our current crafting station only allows us up to like the first tier essentially so let's take a look and see what we can actually do. Yeah we can only do the basic ones. The real kicker is that we actually have the research unlocked to make the more advanced ones because all it takes is research points and we have a whole bunch of that. So let's take a look and see what we need to actually upgrade our crafting stations so we can actually make some better things. Okay, so doing a really quick look, I think I have pretty much all the ingredients somewhere on this like space station to upgrade all these crafting stations at least once. So I'm going to go collect those really quick and see if we can actually do that. I believe we have absolutely everything that we need and like I said, we do have some of the Violium or the slurium ore and the other thing the I guess uh, all the weird ores. We have all the next tier ores. This is actually just the stuff I collected while I was out and about. We have a pretty good stockpile of everything. Once again, this is where things get really funny. The most difficult thing for me to get was actually coal. I know there's a couple places I can buy it, but I was actually just looking for it and it took me forever to find. So I just kind of grabbed a big stack of it and I was like, yeah, I see a bunch. I'm just going to keep collecting it for now. I know there's a way that I can make it and I'm just drawing a blank on how to do it. I'll figure that out before next episode just so I don't run into that same issue again because I'm not going to lie. I'm tired of looking for coal, but I think we should be able to upgrade all of our stations here now. The workbench. Start with that. Yeah, we got a nice workbench going. We should be able to upgrade our anvil in to uh, what does that upgrade to a forge that's what it's actually called the forge all right our inventors table upgrade that to an engineer's table and then our industrial furnace into what was that the antimatter furnace oh atomic furnace yeah there we go and yeah here like i said so we can actually make a handful of the the bars and stuff right here and right now now we have a bunch more of this somewhere else i'll go find that eventually so i'm not going to worry about that right now i guess we could make these i think we need 10 to do the research so why not just unlock that now i suppose seeing as we have that actually on us that will allow us to have a bunch of these neat new weapons now let's see if we can make the new epps yes so we can make a whole bunch of the new epps i don't know if these are the max level ones that we have available to us but at the very least it's something the fact that we can make specialized epps now yeah i see a thermal shell here so this has to be the tier four stuff so i think we're gonna go ahead and try and find a planet that we want to land on and then we'll try and build an EPP based on what planet type we find. And, <laughs> okay, potential problem. I just found out that a bunch of the ingredients are a bunch of the hard research items. So um, that might have to wait, actually. We might not actually be able to even do that. Oh, that's disappointing. Well, anyways, we can take a look and see if we can build any of the new weapons, which I don't see. Oh, do we have to upgrade our forge again? Oh, I think I have all that stuff. Hold on. Let me go grab that. We'll upgrade our forge one more time too. Okay. So I actually have plenty of resources to actually upgrade our forge as well. As you can see, I have extra of everything. And that's because after we upgrade our forge to whatever this thing is, the replicator. All right. We actually had enough to upgrade our engineer table as well. I don't know if it's really worth doing, but we have all the ingredients. So I just grabbed it and figured I'd upgrade it because why not at this point? Quite a lot of things advancing very rapidly here. I don't know what all of these things can make yet. I think this is pretty much everything that we can make at this point. Durasteel, yeah, I see Durasteel stuff, which is not actually that bad. And then we have the tier five stuff from the stuff we just unlocked. Okay, it took me a few seconds to figure out why I couldn't actually make any of the upgraded weapons and armor. And it's because over at the architect's table, we actually have to create the separator add-on. And I actually have to use up the last of my silicone boards here, which kind of sucks. I got those off of enemies. I can't remember where, but I don't have a way to make those yet. But I guess we'll go ahead and make this so we can at least make some advanced armor and weapons. Now, I have to remember how to add this thing on here. Oh, just like that. Boop. 
And there we go. With just a little bit of effort, we put our little replicator thingamajigger up there. And we should be able to craft, there we go, the higher tier stuff. Now, this requires some harder to get materials. So we're probably not going to have any of this stuff anytime soon. And we don't necessarily need it. But it's just good to know that we can make something else. Because, honestly, we've just been kind of running around the same gear for quite a while. Um, what is the items we can make for weapons from these things? A melee weapon. I would actually love to have a melee weapon. We haven't had a good melee weapon for a very long time. Um, nothing really all that good. How about guns? Oh, you know what? I think I read this wrong. Well, the separator add-on that I, I put on, it seems like it adds melee equipment and armor. So it seems like in order to get the weapons, I might have had to use the accelerator add-on, which is ranged weapons and armor, which is unfortunate. Oh, hey, I actually have a couple silicone boards left. I thought I used all of them up. Do I have... I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough to make the refined egg assault yet i might but I, I think it'd be cutting in close so we're not gonna worry about that putting all of the cool new upgrades aside we'll check those out probably next time we'll maybe put a little bit more effort into actually using these and making some cool new gear with it what i think we're gonna do now is we're gonna head back down to the giant tree planet where we have our second colony down and i think we're just gonna explore the surface now there's nothing really too exciting there i do know that it is only like a tier three ish planet so it's kind of below our actual like fighting level but if we can we might set up our own colony on the surface of that planet if we can find a place to build where the earthquakes won't destroy our stuff because i'd like to get a colony down for our own people as well getting some of the fenerox up into space would be really cool okay so what i think we're going to do is i think because we came from the right a little bit and i think there's a bog or a swamp over there if i remember correctly i think we're just going to head to the west here um, I don't think any of the mobs here are going to pose too much of a- What the frick is that? <laughs> I was just a mega fauna. I was just about to say that I don't think any of the mobs on this planet pose much of a threat to us. And there's this thing. What? Um, do we fight this thing? Is it going to attack us? Whoa! Yep, it's attacking us. Well, it's not really attacking us. It's just kind of minding its own business. Should we kill it? Can I sneak by it without it killing me? Let's see. Can. Ow, you stupid little green guys. Is it actually... Oh, I, just, oh, I want to take it down, but I also don't want to kill it for no reason. Is it actually attacking me? It's not really attacking me, is it? It's not hostile, or it is hostile and it just can't get to me or something. I wonder if the earthquakes are messing it up. I feel like it's hostile, but I feel like it's like broken. I'm going to try shooting it and see what it does. That does very little damage. For how much damage this rifle normally does. So it only deals 50. And it's chipping off its health. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're just going to take it out. Just because. I, I feel like I don't want that running around on this planet. I am doing so little damage. I'm not used to this with this rifle. Now, here's a question. Can you capture one of those in a capture ball? Because I think I have one on me. No, I am greatly saddened, but I returned all my capture balls to my storage. Well, now seeing as we killed that thing, we might as well see what it actually dropped. So it dropped this thing here, which is a impact center grenade launcher. Which is pretty mild, I guess, just a grenade launcher. It dropped a something something assault rifle. Ooh, that's neat. And then a shotgun. With ricocheting bullets, secondary shots. All right. Uh, I'm not going to lie. If those are a little bit higher tier, those would probably actually be really good. How good is this flamethrower, you think? Whoa! Blue flamethrower is pretty cool, too. Yeah, it does pretty good damage. Yeah, not going to lie. Flamethrower, really handy. Especially for that kind of crap that I was running into there. I was talking about last time that I needed a melee weapon to take care of, like, thorns and stuff. This will fill that gap pretty easily. This is a good weapon. So part of the reason why I wanted to actually traverse this planet is I wanted to see what effect the earthquake has on the local buildings and stuff. Because I see that it's moving the ground underneath trees and stuff, but it doesn't seem to get rid of them necessarily. And I also don't see the earthquake moving. Oh, actually, it's right there. That's the first time I've seen it like actually affect buildings. Oh, yep. Stone building just collapsed a little bit. So it is affecting this building. That's weird. It didn't affect the other runes at all. So I wonder if it's only certain buildings or if certain buildings actually just have an immunity to it. Because we need to figure that out. Um, if we're going to build like a little community here, we need to make sure that it doesn't get destroyed as soon as we put it up. I just found this cool little jacket. Let's see if it's... <laughs> you know what? That actually... And it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. I'm going to wear it. Some color. Add some color to our scheme. 
Okay, it's getting pretty dark here, and I don't actually want to continue when it's dark because it makes it really hard for you guys to see. I have enough food saved up from killing things on this planet that I'm just going to wait here until morning time so you guys can see better. Okay, after an exciting night of earthquakes, you see the terrain is actually kind of dramatically changed. A whole bunch of stuff is gone, including some trees. Oh, and it looks like we have some fish people buildings here. Oh, and we got slug guy here. Die! All right, here we go. Okay, we have a merchant. Okay, so this vendor here sells tier three gear, which is not terrible in and of itself, but it's nothing that we need at the moment. <laughs> I just found a diamond in this chest, nice. Now, are these guys gonna be hostile? Yes, the answer is absolutely yes. So we need to clear them out as quickly as we can. I am out of energy. Oh no, he's gonna kill the vendor. Die! <laughs> Come on, there we go. Okay, so we're going to clear this place out because I'm actually curious about what's all here. This might be a good location for a new colony for us. Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just, uh, what is it, a hoidel or whatever they're called, the fish people? It's just one of their places, but I mean, it's a nice looking place. And in all honesty, it would save us a lot of building materials if we could just, you know, take over an abandoned castle type building. Every once in a while, you just find a weapon that changes your gameplay style, and this might actually be one. I wish it was tier five. It'd be so much better. But even at tier 3 or whatever it is, it's still really good. Look at this. Like, that's awesome. And I also like that it lights the rooms up. That's always a huge benefit. Ah, oh, I got poisoned. So the thing that's nice about this place is it's already all set up. So if we turn this into, if like we turn this into a colony for ourselves, it's not going to require much work at all. There's doors, there's chairs, there's tables. We could literally just move in. I am a fan of that. Yeah, so I think unless something pops up here that I don't like, I think this is probably a place that we could definitely build. I'm going to have to go through and like turn every one of these lights on though, just to get like extra light in here. Because when the, the lights are off, it is pretty dark. Now, I'm hearing an earthquake and I'm seeing an effect. That makes me nervous. Because that's our one concern. Also, this building switches between two biomes. That could be annoying. And I think that's most everyone... For, oh, oh! <laughs> you almost got me, Mr. Bat. Okay, so this must lead back to this starting area because this is kind of what I was avoiding when I ran to the right when we first landed. So we're actually nearing the like the beginning part of the planet, I think. So that's good to know. Yeah, I'm gonna hang out here for a little while and see if the um the earthquake negatively affects this place because if it does actually destroy anything, if it just kind of like makes things crack and then goes away, that's fine. But if it actually destroys anything, that's just a no-go. Okay, so I've been hanging out here for a little while and I don't see any permanent damage from the earthquakes. So I think we're in the clear to use this as a base. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plop down a few more torches. If we, we're gonna definitely have to make this place a lot brighter. Um, even for me with my, like my brightness turned up a little bit, it's pretty dark. Arc. But we're gonna head back to the swamp here, and I'm assuming, like I said, this is gonna bring us right back to the beginning part of the planet. Okay, it's dark now, but I'm gonna continue on because I think this is nearing the entryway to the planet. I found a pumpkin mask, which is awesome. That is so cool. It's actually like the I call it an Ichabod crane. It's like a headless horseman pumpkin mask too. I like that. I'm gonna leave it on for now. I think this is the beginning frog people. I think these are the first ones that I saw because I kind of remember this little layout here. So I'm thinking our starting location has to be just over here. Yep, it's switched over from the swampy area to whatever this is. Yep, and here's those stupid little green guys that like to try and kill me. I swear these are like the same ones that were over here before. Ah, ha, ha, fire. You know, alternatively, we have the big castle, but we also have like little buildings like this that we could take advantage of. And then apparently we got some kind of special um, assault rifle thing. Let's see what this does. So slower, but it does more damage, it says. And then, whoa! What's that? That's cool. What, do, what is that special effect called? A globe launcher. I mean, I'm going to keep this with me just for that. That is a really cool effect. That is a really good light-up spell. I can have more than one out. So three. I can have up to three out at once, depending on my stamina. So it's all going to be dependent on my stamina. Okay, that was a good run. And I think that's what we're going to call for today. We actually did a pretty decent amount of stuff today. We upgraded all of our crafting stations and encircled this entire planet and found some cool things. So we're going to leave it off here. And next time we're going to kind of decide whether or not we're going to actually build a colony for ourselves or if we're going to go do a little bit more exploring and whatnot. But that's all for the future. We'll think about that next time. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.